What is up fellow nerds and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now today we're bringing you another episode of Taking Them Down. If you haven't seen this before, basically what it is is a team building help for you. If you are struggling against a particular Pokemon in the OU tier, this helps you to think about new possible ways to deal with it. So if you're excited to learn how to deal with Excadrill, then go ahead and leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and make sure to leave me a comment on what you would like to see in next week's episode. So, Excadrill. Excadrill is a big threat in, in OU. Um, it's got an okay speed tier at 88, but it's got a really high attack at base 135, and it has two great abilities that really help it to do really well. It has Mold Breaker. Mold Breaker helps it to deal with things that are off the ground, such as Rotom. It also helps it to break through things like Mimikyu's Disguise because it ignores their abilities. So this thing is a really potent threat. It also can set up rocks, it can rapid spin, it does a lot of things really, really well. And so, I've thrown here, uh, this is a set that we use, uh, we've used on the channel, minus the rock slide, we used rocks right there, but just for damage calc purposes, I threw it on there so that you could see how much that move does. And then of course this thing gets Sand Rush. So, teamed up with a Hippowdon or a Tyranitar, this thing starts to go lightning fast by doubling its speed during sand. That's where this thing gets kind of dangerous, and so it's also what makes this uh, this episode a little bit different because we have to make sure that we're dealing with all of these sets here. These are the two most common sets, are the Mold Breaker set, so you'll see that Rotom Heat is not on there because he just gets one shot by Earthquake, and you will see there are a couple of other things that normally would definitely deal with one set but can't deal with the other, so I'm trying to give options here that deal with both. So let's go ahead and get started with Corviknight. Now Corviknight has always been Excadrill's biggest counter. Since the game started, Excadrill cannot deal with Corviknight at all in any way. So basically what we're running here is a 48 defense Corviknight. And what this does is this actually allows us to two hit KO with body press. And that's why I really like it. That's And you know, you take hits for days. The most this thing can do is 23 with Rock Slide. So, I mean, that's not much at all, and you can just roost that off. Um, plus, you have leftovers to heal back. I mean, yeah, Excadrill can't touch this at all. Plus, it helps to patch up the uh, the special defensive side of the Corviknight, which is down at 85, which still isn't bad, but it is a little bit lower. So, this is a really nice set to help you deal with Drill. Next, we're gonna look at Conkeldur. Now, there are a couple of sets that Conkeldur can run, but I personally like the Assault Vest set. Of course, you can run the Gut set if you like, but I wanted to talk about this one today because you carry Drain Punch and Mock Punch. The most that x Girl can do to you is 50%, which may seem like a lot, right? So, you switch this in, and Extra Drill clicks Earthquake, which is its most powerful move, assuming it hasn't set up a Sword Stance or isn't one of those sets and it does half. You then click Drain Punch, you Oko it if it's not Sash, which you have Mock Punch for if it is Sash, and you heal back up 43%, which is insane. So it's basically as if Excadrill really never touched you at all. It, it did 7% to you. So yeah, I, I absolutely love this set. I think it deals with Excadrill really well. I think Conkeldur is a really nice answer. Of course, uh, Earthquake also Oko's, but you know, Drain Punch gives you that healing. So, you know, it, it, either way, either one you wanna hit is fine, but you're get, you're definitely gonna be slower no matter what. And so I think the healing is going to be a little bit more valuable for you. All right, next up is of course, Choice Scarf Dracovish. You can't, you can't have any list that has a ground type on it without talking about Choice Scarf Dracovish. Dracovish is absolutely incredibly powerful with Vicious Rend, and it does 269 minimum to an Excadrill. It's insane. And even if you aren't Scarf, if you are banded and you're slower, you're still going to kill this and you're still not going to die to an Earthquake. You know, he can do 60% to you, which is quite a bit of damage, but he cannot just straight up Oko you, and you Oko him every single time. So that's one thing really, really awesome to consider. Yeah, X-Girl can't deal with, with Dracovish at all. 
Next is going to be Keldeo. Keldeo is going to be our choice specs user. You can also run him as a Scarf user. Either way, you are faster than Excadrill as long as it is not within Sand Rush. And you just straight up kill it. It's, it's, it's great. Yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. Hydro Pump does 211, uh, Scald does 153, Secret Sword does 172. I mean, you just completely wreck this thing. Um, and Earthquake does 56, you know, if you are facing one that's in Sand Rush. But, I mean, it, it can't stay in against you or else it's going to die to anything you click. It, it's just not going to work out well for him. Um, and then we've got, of course, Seismitoad. Seismitoad has gained a lot of popularity in this generation, and I love it. And yeah, Earth Power is a two-hit KO, and so is Scald. Scald can even burn, which is also really, really nice for weakening this thing if it was a Sword Stance set. And anything, if it is a really fast set with a Sand Rush, then you can go ahead and burn it. And then its speed really doesn't even matter all that much because it's not doing as much damage so yeah I, I really like seismitoad here i think it's a great answer it does really well as a physically defensive wall so yeah that is going to be about it i know that these episodes are really really quick but um I, I think that basically you're here to see you know what ideas work for certain pokemon and so i don't think the episodes need to be particularly long-winded so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of taking them down again make sure to like and subscribe and of course tune in tomorrow for some more mystery dungeon until then bye bye <laughs>